each of our videos, we do our best to try to pinpoint what we think makes each 55 plus community unique. And today we're coming to you from a Dell Webb community. Now, Mr. Dell Webb is the pioneer of the 55 plus community. He started setting up his first 55 plus in 1959 in Arizona. So clearly this organization has a lot of experience with 55 plus. Behind me here, you'll see this under construction amenity center and we are going to be showing you a bunch of the models at the end of this video, so stick around. Let's go take a look. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. My name is Krista Tarrens. I'm Mariana Wartella. And together we are your Florida 55 Plus Guide. And before we jump into today's video, real quickly, I just want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel as it does help push our videos out to more people just like you. And we also have another way for you to reach out to us, and that is via our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Florida 55 Plus Guide, which is a public group on Facebook. So please join. Um, we'd love to hear if you are living in a 55 plus community or any questions that you might have about any of the 55 plus communities that we've featured. One of the great things about this community is its location. We are in Winter Garden, uh, literally three minutes to Disney, to Western Way, the back way to get into Disney. But more importantly, we're in Winter Garden, which is close to, and we're close to the 429 which gets us to the Winter Garden Town Center. Um, we can shoot up to Mount Dora in uh, half an hour on 429. We are actually in Central Florida. So those of you who are concerned, this is generally not a, um, a, an affected area with hurricanes. And flooding is nominal because it is new construction. The land has been built up, so it's unlikely that you'll need flood insurance here. So we are so very close to Disney that you can actually see the fireworks from both Epcot Center and Magic Kingdom from various parts of the community. How fun! You know you'll be getting guests and anyone coming to Orlando will be pleased with this amazing location. So earlier Krista had shown you uh, or filmed in front of the community center. I want to tell you a little bit about that. It is a 12,000 square foot community clubhouse. That is an amazing side. It has a bar, a full fitness center, a wine room, a coffee bar, a kitchen, arts and crafts, and a meeting space. The outdoor amenities include a zero entry pool, um, outdoor jacuzzi, a fire pit, cabanas, uh, tennis and pickleball courts and walking paths. And the cool thing about the walking paths is as you go through them, there are stations where you can work out, uh, exercise areas and stations that you can stop by and have a workout. Um, in addition, of course, there is an activities director on site. Now this community itself will have 422 homes and was begun in 2021. And one thing that's interesting to note is that 12,000 square foot community clubhouse is really oversized for the number of homes. Um, and another thing that's pretty interesting and somewhat unusual for a 55 plus community is that it offers two story homes. That's kind of something to think about if you are planning to stay in your home for a long time, you might want to consider just going for a single story right off the bat, although two stories will be great if you're planning on getting lots and lots of visitors. Another neat thing is that none of these or most of these homes don't back up to another house and if there is, there's a wall between them. So you're not going to be looking out of your back window and watching your neighbors barbecue out of their back door. One of the interesting things about this community is that it has gas. You'll notice on the stovetop, which is perfect for the chef in you. You know, gas is not a common thing throughout Central Florida, so it is a real treat when you're able to have a gas stove, a gas um, hot water heater, and a, glass, a gas dryer. One kind of fun thing is the way there are so many model homes here and you just can make your way up and down the street and visit whichever one you like. So we're gonna start off with a villa. A villa is what some people might refer to as a duplex. So it's going to be two houses that share a common wall and have two separate garages and two separate entrances. So one side is a model home and the other side is actually where they have yoga class right now until the amenity center is open. Now we're inside our villa and this can be purchased as a two bedroom or a three bedroom. We have this flex space right here. Uh, this is currently being used as an, an office or a sitting room could also be made into a bedroom if you prefer. And these are just under 1,600 square feet. Still a lot of cabinet space, I like that. Yeah. Now the HOA fee in the villa, it's $536 per month, so it's a monthly fee. The HOA includes your landscaping, your irrigation maintenance, mulch once a year, exterior painting, termite bond pressure washing, 
and a reserve for roof replacements. So literally everything outside the walls of your home. And this community also does not have a CDD and that is of no small importance, I would say, and kind of unusual for this area. Can we count that closet as a fourth bedroom? <laughs> Almost, it's pretty big. Okay. One thing I think it's worth noting at Dell Webb is that all of these homes, all of them have a lot premium. So when you're looking at a base price, which Mariana, what is the base price for the, a villa? The base price of a villa is 420,000 and the lot premium is rough, begins at 20,000. Begins at 20,000, okay. So you also get to go to a design center with uh, Pulte. So you're gonna add, they say typically 10% on to the base price with your additional design. Next, we're going to take a look at one of the, what, what was this? This is the Mystique Grand. It is part of the Distinctive Series. The Distinctive Series. And these are on 50 foot wide lots. And there are seven types of these to choose from. So what is the base price of this one? This one is 635. Okay, again, that's without a lot premium and upgrades. This is quite large. It said 2,800 square feet. Did I get that right? Yes. And it's um, two to three bedrooms, two bath, and an oversized two-car garage. So lots of space for your toys. And this model is showing a second floor, so we'll have to run up there. The HOA fee is different on this one from, from the villa that we just showed you. The HOA fee for this lot size, this 50-foot wide lot size, is $474 a month and it includes landscaping, irrigation maintenance, streaming TV, uh, one gig of internet, and of course, access to all the amenities. And by the way, we haven't mentioned yet, but that amenity center isn't open, but they have a different option for you, which I think is pretty cool. With that in mind, uh, yeah, all residents get access to the Windsor Island Resort. It's about 15 minutes away, has a lazy river, slides, pool bars, putt-putt, movies, etc. So it's really a, um, resort style amenity center. Windsor Island Resort is actually a, what is it, a vacation vacation rental property owned by Pulte? Yes, Okay. Mm -hmm. owned by Pulte. So this second floor, I guess, is probably an option with a loft. Great for guests or anyone. This is an amazing space. I think it's a good time to point out that, you know, if you have children over the age of 18, they are permitted to live here. So this right. would be perfect room for somebody who's in college or um, somebody just wanting to um, join you yeah, in living and in Florida. Children under the age of 18, unusually, are allowed here for up to 90 days a year, which is not something we come across too often in 55 plus. Now we're gonna visit uh, one of the 65 foot wide lots. Yeah, and this is, uh, the series on the 65 foot lots is called the Echelon series. The particular house we're going to visit is the Stardom, and that one starts at 665.9. It has a three-car garage. Yes, it it's does. It's hard to get into the three-car garage in this one because they, they have it so nicely landscaped. With the Echelon series, the HOA fee is $484 a month, so it's just a little bit higher. It's $10 a month higher than uh, with the Distinctive series that we just showed you. Wow, this is so perfectly laid out for 2,300 square feet. I feel like it's got a lot of living space. Absolutely. We learned something else kind of interesting about uh, the Dell Webb property that we have not heard before. Mariana, why don't you tell us about who can buy here? Well, actually, anyone can purchase here. The fact is that you only need to be 50 or older in order to live here. So investors who are 19 years old can purchase a home here as long as they are purchasing it to rent out to someone who's 50 or older. And 50 or olders may purchase a home and live in it full time, which is super unique. It really is, yeah. A lot of these communities have much stricter age restrictions. One of the builder salespeople was telling us about someone who purchased half of a villa that they are going to uh, rent out. They're in their late 40s. They're going to rent it out until they decide that they're ready to move in after they turn 50. So I think that is a great way to offset the price and get in at these early stages. Now, if you are interested in this community, um, I just wanted to point out one final thought, and that is that there are no spec homes here. So you are going to be coming in, choosing your lot, and going to a design center. It's that sort of a process, so it is going to be a longer wait, except unless you are buying a villa and there is half of a villa built, like someone else has already ordered one, 
The other half could be a spec home, so those could be ready already for you. Correct, and I believe we're in stage three now, so or phase three, so we're already sold out of phase one. Phase two is almost sold out, and they are only doing four stages, so this will sell very quickly. Right, and another important thing to mention is that there are some incentives, uh, even though you're not buying, like a lot of times builders will have a really good incentive it's a, if it's a spec home that's already built because they want to sell it faster to get their money back out of it. There is $15,000 available towards your right. closing costs. You can use it to buy down your interest rate or however you want to structure it um, if you use their lender. That's correct, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you like this home or any of the homes that we've shown in the past on any of the videos, please reach out to us. Our phone number is here, our website and our Facebook page, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you.